Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm here with another movie review. So, I recently saw See How They Run, and it's pretty recent. It came out last year, and it has like one of those huge ensemble casts, you know, everybody's in it, and it's a, a period murder mystery drama. I love those. I watched like four seasons of Mrs. Marple and I loved it. I, I loved the, the murder mystery, the dry British humor and I was very interested to see what this story is going to be because it seemed to be very familiar to a lot of the murder, like the way that it was shown in the trailer seemed very similar to a lot of modern murder mysteries like Knives Out and The Glass Onion. I really enjoyed it. It is so dry, so dry. The British humor in the way that a lot of these murder mystery shows go, the bizarre, the unexpected, the way that people behave and and everything was very familiar to me as someone who watches a lot of, you know, like British TV shows. So I wasn't thrown off by it at all, especially, you know, in the beginning when the murder happens and everybody is sitting in the theater and the major, major concern is, are we going to be able to continue on, you know, or are we going to have to shut everything down just because this dead body is here? <laughs> In an overview, a very well-received play is also under production to become a feature film. And I was like, okay, that's a very interesting sort of spin on the story because there's much more at stake and there are a lot more moving parts. What really helps with a lot of these murder mystery TV shows are the multiple locations, like us visiting different places. We're not trying to discover the crime and then, you know, uh, figure it out next door. And because the main characters are the police investigators, we get to see them interviewing people, interacting with other people, going to these multiple locations. And I love that. I love being able to see like the bar, the movie theater, the police station, um, the characters' individual homes, hotel rooms, and all of that. I feel like it really helped fill out this 365, very colorful, full view of the location and the people. The night of the 100th performance, there's a celebration and the director for the feature film version of the play is murdered. He's murdered and his body is displayed on the theater stage. It is done in a very classic like whodunit style, a play that's about a murder mystery and then there's a murder mystery paralleling that. So I thought that was kind of funny and I liked it because everybody was genuinely a suspect. Everybody had something at stake. There were some characters where it was very clear that I was like no, no. There'd be no reason, no point. The suspicion moved from character to character and I really liked the character of the lieutenant because she is sort of like the audience, you know, where we're like oh it was her! oh no it was him you know and moving back and forward and with her you know enthusiasm and excitement for the work I really liked her character there to balance her partner who was clearly going through some things and all of this is happening at a very specific point in history made a lot of that relevant I appreciate that we were like on a clock and things just kept moving forward. We didn't linger too long in any one thing. There's a lot of comedy, um, a little drama. I like that the characters seem very real, especially for something like a murder mystery with comedy. So it's not just about finding out who did it, it's feeling invested in the character's survival as well. So it's like, I want to find out who did it, but I also don't want anybody else to die. So my camera died, but we shall go on. A lot of characters, which I like. Costumes are great. The locations are great. We get 
it has like the Christie coming in. It's a very much like a full circle story. We understand what's happening. You know, we we know who the bad guy is. We know who the good guys are. Any confusion is laid out in the in the very traditional fashion of these British murder mysteries we find out everything that we need to know and come away with no questions we have no questions everything is answered so I I really enjoyed it for that reason because I did want something I do love mystery movies instead of more modern murder mystery movies where you know who did it and we're just following the detectives along as they try to figure out who it is or conversely we are in the pov of the murderers trying to cover their tracks to prevent themselves from being detected so there are a few loop-de-loops where you're like you know some details come in that make you think hmm suspicious hmm suspicious on this other person or now you're thinking maybe this other person is capable of murder but in the end you find out who the real culprit is in a very entertaining and in a very entertaining way i really enjoyed it i recommend it if you enjoy british murder mystery shows and movies i would give it a four out of five I will give it a four out of five. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll have the links for um, my Patreon, my blogs, and my online store in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time.